Hello everybody, I am Abhishek. Today we will learn about anonymous class and reflection. Today we will prove how anonymous class exists with the help of reflection. I have one program. Okay, we will see how it actually performs. So, yeah, I have one swing program. Okay, I have inserted one reflect package in java import java dot lang dot reflect as a jframe text field button that's a simple program to add two numbers so finally I'm doing event handling over here Here I have to pass an object of a class, actually the object of the event handler. And this object belongs to an anonymous class that has no name. Okay. As soon as the event will generate, it will call the accent handler. Now here we, we can see that we are taking the class object of that anonymous class and we will check in if loop whether this object is anonymous class or not if it is yes then ok it is a yes this is this class is anonymous class this function is predefined in java.lang.reflect and if we have an anonymous class then what is the name of this class so we will get it name from c one dot get canonical name of that anonymous class we will find the enclosing class of that anonymous class with the help of reflection and we will find that what are the declared methods in anonymous class now we will compile this program Okay, it's fine. So we will add two numbers. Add it's twenty-four. So as soon as the event generated it will show yes this class is anonymous class anonymous class is a class with no name that is null enclosing class of an anonymous class is GUI example one you can see it here fine so again we will do the same thing you can see yeah yes this class is anonymous class thank you for watching this tutorial